Hey guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm here with a Lightroom tutorial. We're going to be talking about presets and how fast you can edit your photos and keep a theme between them uh, by using presets. And I've even included a couple presets in the description so you guys can play around, follow along with me if you would like. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm going to open Lightroom here. I have eight photos imported. Uh, these are photos from my trip to Cabo San Lucas. I use these because I already have a YouTube video about the trip, so you guys can go watch that if you'd wish. Uh, but let's just get straight into it. So to import presets, um, you can go into your editing pane, and then you have your presets down here. I'm using the newest version of Lightroom, by the way. If you actually pay for it and have a licensed copy, you can get the newest version. So um, yeah, then go up to the three dots next to presets, and then import presets, and you can import what I have linked in the description. Okay, so from there, on this first photo, uh, we can browse through our presets, so we'll open that pane back up, and if you hover over them, you can see what each one does. A lot of them don't work for certain photos, so you have to just kind of browse around and find what you like. Um, for this one, I have one that I really like, and I'm uh, going to apply it. It's also available for download. Um, it's called Ocean Water. So we're going to apply that. Okay, and then Contrast. I'm just going to give it a little more. I'm going to go up to, let's try 45, just to kind of boost the, the watercolor, uh, make it a little more cinematic looking, or try and give it a little more color without looking too fake. Blacks, I'm going to drop a little bit, just to kind of get a little runoff to the edge. All right, now this was taken from a uh, drone. In fact, it was a DJI Spark, so a rather cheap drone. So it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, information here to work with. So as you can see, it gets a little, a little fake looking. Um, so we're gonna drop the contrast, or the clarity, I mean, sorry. So we're gonna put that at zero. And now if I zoom in, it just looks more natural. Doesn't look like it's being process processed as hard. And I think that's a pretty good, pretty good look. So this is the before, and this is the after. Um, and that took probably a minute. So that was a pretty smooth way to transform a photo completely. Let's move on to this next one. Okay, so I really like this photo for so many reasons. Um, there is someone up here you can't see in this specific shot, really. I have another one of them. Uh, hanging laundry on their roof, which is pretty cool, and it's just the, loop, the roof of um, some different shops and garages, and I mean, they live under these places, which is pretty cool. Uh, this guy's pouring out water. There's ripples right here in front of the uh, Explorer, and yeah, I just think it's a really cool photo. For this one, um, again, you can hover over them, see what each one does. I am going to go with, I think I like heat stroke on this one. Okay, yeah, I like that. Um, it's a little heavy for my liking. Just in kind of the sky, it almost gets a little gray, kind of, where it just looks too processed. Uh, one thing I am going to do is increase the exposure. So it's at 0.5 right now. I'm going to bring it up to 1. Um, that kind of makes the sky look, look less fake and also brings out shadows down here and everything. So I really like that. Now I can see what this guy's doing. But to bring that out even more, I'm going to bring shadows up to 55. There we go. Whites I can play around with. I'm going to try and drop them a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And then blacks. Blacks I'm going to drop to zero just because I don't want, yeah. I don't want this guy to be too, with his black shirt and then the SUV, I don't want them to be too dark. I like it nice and light. You can see everything that's going on and uh, really admire everything. Now I like the sky in this photo. I don't think it looks too fake or anything, but if you wanted to bring out the clouds a little more and make them pop, then you can go ahead and add a linear gradient. Um, so we can just pull that down and then bring it down. So that'll cover most of the sky. It'll also get a little bit of the tree, but that's fine. And then we're just gonna drop the exposure a little bit. Okay, um, that's a little much for me and that's at 0.88, so we're gonna go point. Okay, there we go, negative 0.4. Um, so that looks better. I mean, it brought down the clouds a little bit, still doesn't look fake, so 
it looks pretty good. Now highlights is where you can really make the clouds pop, but also gets a little fake and gray looking. So if I start to bring those down, as you can see, the clouds have started to pop a little more, sky's a little more blue, but it also looks a little more processed. Shadows you can bring up, um, so we can bring them up to say like half. That way it takes a little more of the fake look out. If you haven't heard yet, I like uh, non-fake images that don't look heavily processed. I like them to look pretty clean, pretty natural, but also have a nice color punch to them. And now texture, if you really want to, you can add say plus, plus 32. So there we go, that brings some texture into the tree. So let's go ahead and look at the before and after. So that's the original, that's after. Now, like I said, if you don't like that sky, you can skip that, and that's probably what I would do, because it just makes it look a little gray, but I think that's a pretty cool difference between that and that. Okay, so moving on to the next photo. We went to this glass blowing shop, and we have these two ladies here. This one's mopping, and the other one, as you can see from the baskets, is stocking shelves. Um, so there's a lot we could do with this one. You could go black and white, but that's for this video. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm showing off presets and different colorways and stuff like that. So I think what I want to try is ocean water again from the first preset. Now it doesn't just have to have ocean water in it, obviously. It's just a, a color that I like. Um, so we are going to apply that. Um, okay. I like that. It's a little strong in the blues and oranges for me, so we can fix that. That's what's cool. Uh, if we close out of presets, contrast is a little heavy for me. It's only at 10, so we're just going to drop it to zero. It didn't fix a whole lot, but it looks better. Highlights are pretty strong. Uh, let's try backing it down to negative 20. Okay, so that brought out some whites in her shirt. Now shadows, they're pretty good. I'm going to bring them up just eight more, so 60. Whites, I'm going to increase just a little more. I'm going to put it at an even zero. And then blacks, I'm actually going to bring up to... Um, 30 looks pretty good. So I think this looks really good. It's a clean image. Um, everything's sharp. But there's no hard colors. I mean, the oranges can be a little bit. So if you wanted to, you could come in here and just back down the saturation on the oranges. And that looks pretty good. So now if we look at the before and after, close out of that. There's our before. There's our after. So it just gives everything a good pop. Okay, moving on to this next photo. This was the resort pool. Now this one again, I think I'm going to try heat stroke on. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so we're gonna close out of that and then again, we're gonna make some adjustments because it's a little strong in some places. I think it has too much contrast, so we're gonna bring it down to a negative 35. Yeah, I think that's a good starting point. You could bring it down a little more, I like that. I like contrast in my images, but I don't like too much to where it looks fake again. Shadows, um, 19's pretty good. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. There, I like that at about 35. Now whites I am going to bring down, which normally with whites in your image you don't wanna do, but in this image that's still pretty good. Now normally if you bring your whites down you wanna take your blacks up or just do the opposite. However, in this one, I think I'm going to drop the blacks too, just to get a little more depth from the pool water. I'm going to drop it to about 30 as well. Maybe not quite. I'll go 25. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So again, we close out of this, look at before and after. <clears throat> there's before, no definition in the sky. And then there's after. You can see a little bit in here with the clouds. Um, the trees have a little brighter of a green color. And then the pool has kind of this dark blue, almost looks a little scary. Um, yeah, I really like those colors. Compare this to that. I think it gives it a very Spanish feel of, as the resort was. Um, so yeah, I really like that. On to the next photo. Okay, this one's another drone shot. I also really like this one. Um, I flew from down here right at this tent maybe, or actually I believe that's me right there. Um, yeah, okay. So there's, maybe that's a hiking trail, I'm not exactly sure what that is up there. Anyways, took this along the hillside, um, looking back of the resort and the water. 
Really like this photo, let's see what we can do with it. Okay, back to the presets, and I think I want to go with, because of all the, the detail in here, um, I think I want to go with something kind of almost harsh. Uh, so we're going to try Dolomite. Now I'm going to make some changes to it because there's too much purple for my liking and it's too too harsh right now. Okay, I think what I'm going to do first is adjust my white balance. So up here in the bright clouds, that's a pretty neutral point. So I'm going to grab my white balance tool. Let's quick look at the before and after. So this is still, I believe, too much. Uh, yeah, that looks really cool. Um, still a little much for my liking, but just look at the sky and the grass down below. Um, it just adds so much to the photo. Okay, let's keep going with this. Exposure, I'm going to bring up just a hint, so it's at point 0.10 right now. I'm going to try point 0.15, we'll see how that looks. Uh, you can drag the sliders, that's what I normally do, but I'm trying to be precise here just to give you guys numbers, so if I just drag the slider, yeah, um, it might be kind of hard to tell how much I'm doing. So if I say numbers, then you'll kind of know. Whites, I think there's not enough whites, so I'm going to bring that up. It doesn't do a whole lot, but I'm going to bring it up to probably negative 10. I think that looks way better, way more clean. Now since I went negative here, I'm going to go positive on the blacks. And there we go, that brings a lot of the uh, exposure out of the lower half. I'm going to put it at about 15. I think that looks good. Now on the last photo, uh, that was a drone photo, I brought down the clarity. Um, this one I'm going to do that as well, it's at 52 right now. I'm not going to bring it to zero like I did on the last one, I'm going to bring it to about 30. So it drops some of that, so I get, I mean, less clarity, so like, it kind of works in the opposite. This sensor on this drone doesn't have enough, uh, it's not big enough to get enough information to boost the clarity to 52. Um, so when you drop it to 30, even though it's less clear, uh, your image is going to look a lot better. Again, let's check out the before and after. There's before, you don't get much uh, detail with the grass and everything, it's kind of just there, you don't look at it. Um, resort looks fine, nothing special. And then with that on, it really lights up the uh, resort. It's like the sun's right over it. And then the grass, you kind of notice all the rocks and everything. So again, if we just look at that before and after, it's like it's like the sun came out. On to the next one. Okay, now this is actually, pretty sure the drone is in the same spot. I just turned it. So this should now be facing west, I believe. Now this one, again, I think I want to do ocean water. I just like the look it gives and it'll keep it consistent with the other photos I've been doing. So let's go ahead, go to the presets and try ocean water. It's very strong, so bear with me. Exposure is going to need brought up a lot. I want to see what's going on. So we're going to try and bring it up to 0.40. Okay, uh, that boosted all the whites of the houses. I like the look. Contrast is quite strong for me. Um, I'm going to bring that down to negative. 25, maybe negative 30. Okay, we'll go with that. Highlights are also, let's bring it down to negative 80 to start. Okay, I'm gonna do 85 just to bring some more of the sky back and then we can fix the color later. Blacks I'm going to drop just to get a little more depth. So let's try, I think that looks good. That way your eye isn't attracted down here, but it does look cool. Now greens, I might increase a little bit just so I can see some of these trees and stuff in here. So it's at negative 58 right now. Let's try negative 40. That is giving the trees here a little more pop and I think it looks pretty good. Go back and check out this before. Um, everything's just kind of eh. It's a cool photo. There's no real pop to it. And now it's a lot more vibrant. And uh, again, you could pull some of that pink and orange out of the sky there. Um, this is just a really quick way to edit your photos, but you can do a lot more with the sky and everything. This photo I really love. It's actually the wallpaper on my computer. However, it does not look like this. Uh, so this was on a uh, dinner cruise that we went on, and these are some of the rock forms. They had boats out here. The photo has an insane amount of detail. It was taken on my A7R2, so that has 42 megapixels. However, there's not a whole lot that we can see right now. Um, the reason it's so dark is to expose for the sky because I was shooting in raw I knew I could bring the light back in the rocks and that's what we are going to do now preset I have one just for this. It is called brighten me Okay, so after the preset That's how we're looking a lot better um, As you can see, but we're still not done yet exposure is at 0.65. I'm gonna bring it up to one That just gives it a little more depth you can now start to look at the rock formations and all the detail contrast I'm gonna bring up it looks a little kind of hazy right now so we're gonna bring it up to 30 
Now because this is on such a high resolution full frame 42 megapixel sensor, I don't have to spare too much like I did the drone shots. I can actually drag those sliders and do quite a bit of work before it starts to diminish in quality. Highlights, I'm going to drop those to bring the sky back. Um, we can start at negative 65, start there. Okay, I like the look, I think we can go a little more, try 80. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, brought a lot of the sky back, a lot of orange color. I really like that. Now shadows, I'm going to bring up so we can see even more of the rocks. I'm just going to zoom in on those just so we can see. Um, I'm just going to bring them to positive 80. So that brought a lot of the rock back. I really like that. You can also see now what people are doing even. Um, so I can zoom in, not that much, um, and see what is going on. Okay, whites, I'm going to bring up just a little more. I'll try 30 just to kind of bring a little more white out of the boat. Blacks, again, um, usually do the opposite. This one I think I'm going to do about a negative 15 to start with. I like that so it just darkens the rocks a little bit where the light isn't on it. Where the light is on it, it looks really good. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go with that. Uh, that's before. It's crazy what it did. That is after. Blows my mind. Um, that you can turn a photo that looks like that, that most people would probably trash, and make it look like this. Hopefully you liked them, learned something. If you did like them, go ahead and like the video. It helps me uh, make more videos like this. And drop a comment and say uh, which preset you like and why. And if this video helped you, go ahead and subscribe because that is my goal. I want to make more videos like this, and by subscribing, it shows that I have people that are interested in this. Thanks for watching.